What's good, Melanites? It's your boy GT. And I'm Kimmy Coco. And we are your hosts for Innovative Black Stations Connecting the Dots. What's up? What's been going on, y'all? We got a lot to talk about today. We're going to talk about the missing CDC worker. We're going to talk about dicks discontinuing rifles, among other things. But first, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to put you on game. So Kim, go ahead and start us off with that. Okay, so what we're going to put you on game about today is this missing CDC um, doctor. And his name is Timothy J. Cunningham. And what happened is he went to work at the CDC here in Atlanta. He found out that he wasn't going to get a promotion that he was waiting to get. He went home sick. He had been sick for a couple of days prior to that. Okay. But this day he went home. He never came back no one could find him after that his parents called him since they couldn't locate him they drove all the way from maryland to atlanta when they got here his car was here his dog was here his cell phone was there his keys were there but they haven't seen him okay coincidentally or not coincidentally but in addition to that he had done an interview recently with yournewswire.com where he said that he thought the the flu vaccine was causing people to have the flu. So according to Rolling Out Magazine, they're thinking that since he did that interview, coincidentally with them, the CDC, who knows? They may have frowned upon what they found out. And if you don't know what the CDC is, it's the the Center Center for Disease Control, yeah. Right, okay. So, we don't know where he is. And I've read in several stories on the internet how there have been holistic doctors that have come up missing or murdered a lot recently. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. I mean, the conspiracy theories are that the government really doesn't want us to, f- to find out about these holistic remedies because it would put the pharmaceutical industry Absolutely. out of business. So pray- prayerfully, they find him and he comes up soon. There was something else weird about this case, too. He had said to his neighbor's wife, he said to his neighbor, tell your wife to take my number out of her phone, which mm-hmm. I thought was a little bit strange. So Yeah, and uh, ABC reported 17 hours ago that they were um, family, family, friends, and the police are starting a new search to um, look for him. So that's good news. Um, I don't know, Kim, you might be on the song. Well, according to... Um what magazine is this? This was in Rolling Out magazine. Mm-hmm. Um, He's a respected researcher with the CDC. Okay. He stated he would finish his work from home the day that he left home. From, he went home from work, and um, no one heard from him again, like we said. This caused panic and concern because he warned his family and others that his disappearance and possible, ble- possible death might occur because he knew a secret about the flu shot. So, according to this article on rollingout.com, he had warned his family that something like this might happen because he feared he had warned his family in january his family and his colleagues that he had fear about this year's flu shot some media outlets have reported he was warned by co-workers at the centers for disease control and prevention that if he kept talking and expressing his opinion he could lose his job or something else could happen despite this warning dr cunningham continued to express his medical opinion as a member of the cdc's epidemic intelligence service cunningham was an expert on contagious epidemics he had been deployed to combat Zika and Ebola and holds the rank in the U.S. Navy commander as a member of the EIS. He's also a graduate from Morehouse College and Harvard University. He's well-respected in the industry. He has all these credentials. Young black man living in Atlanta, missing. This is crazy, and it causes it should cause some concern. Whether there are others or not, I have not seen anything proven. You know, you get these things that go around the internet from anything.com. And you're like, oh, wow. But, you know, I kind of like to lean more toward credible sources. So this has been, like you said, on your your um, source was ABC. Mm-hmm. I've seen it on the local news here in Atlanta for several okay. weeks. So it kind of just makes me think, what did he know? And what is going on with the flu shot? We reported earlier, you know, that we had seen so many deaths being caused by the flu this year, which was weird. But he's one, he's one of many. Like, what is it that all of them knew that you know came up missing that we haven't found yet or you know that ended up dead like what did they know it's always something 
that they know. I mean, I mean, you know these things when you take these type of jobs. You know that there's a guideline and there's a protocol and there's you, you things that you tell. can't tell and talk about. Well, I wonder why because so yournewswire.com is the actual source. This is the place where he did the actual interview, and this is a quote from them. They said some of the patients I've administered the flu shot to this year have died. He said, "I don't care who you are. This shit sca- this scares the crap out of me." But the flu, the, the flu is, is evolving over time. And as the flu evolves, we have to adapt. But he's saying that the shot, like, they're pushing this flu shot. I've, I've seen, you know, we have to get our shots for school, blah, blah, but blah. But the shot, the shot has some of the virus in it. So if the, you're so taking the strain, that shit and you don't know that, then mm-hmm. you don't need to be taking that shit. If you don't know that it has some of the virus in it, nine times out of ten, when you take that damn shot, you're going to get sick at some point whether you take the flu shot or not you're going to get sick that's just a part of the process so if you're not educated on what's in that flu shot you don't need to be taking it mm-hmm. you don't even the nasal the nasal the spray can, yeah, they the have spray. different ways that you could take you it don't you don't need get the to shot you, you don't understand spray. it right but you you don't know and this is what we were talking about this before too your doctor is just a doctor like what is driving him though we always say follow the money they're actually promoting the flu shot it's not like you know what i mean right. you go to the doctor and you're sick or you think that you're prone to the flu because you work at a school with children with germs no they tell everybody they told me when i went to the doctor like you went to flu shot like there, there's a commercial out there like whenever you see anything on tv they're like mate well you know if you get your flu shot i'm like why are they doing that I that's the that question i have time, yeah i got real sick this was back in like 2014 i said i'm not taking that shit no more I'm not taking that shit no more because I got real sick. I, I took I took the nasal one because I don't I don't like shots. So Tamiflu is the most common uh, form of pr- flu prevention or whatever that mm. they give people. I've never heard of it. It sounded weird to me. I've never taken it. Like whenever I get sick, I've gotten the flu once, and that was this year, and it was crazy to me because I'm like. Why is everybody getting it? Like everyone right. I know at some point has gotten it. And that's, I've never seen that before. So who is behind Tamiflu? Like, you know what I mean? I always say, follow the money. Who is the pharmaceutical company? And what's their stock? What's their numbers looking like? Like, why won't the pharmaceutical companies let marijuana be legalized in some of these states? Why is Jeff Sessions saying there's an opioid crisis, but at the same time, not looking at medical marijuana? You know what I mean? Like. Follow the money. I'm about to say they ain't found a Follow way to the monetize money. it yet. They haven't found a way to monetize it yet. Well, they have found a way to monetize it, but the way that they found to monetize it in these states that are making money hand over fist, you know what I mean? Their government is open to new ways of making money, which in the states that refuse to legalize it, they're not open to new ways of making money. You got to innovate. You know what I mean? You have to find, if you're really, really seriously about making money, and that's what I'm saying, when you elect somebody, that should be a part of the process. When, 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 like before the midterm elections, we should come up with shit that we need people to look for in their next representative. Legalizing marijuana should be one. Also, with their issue, with their view is on the criminal justice reform. A lot of true marijuana smokers don't even want to legalize because they understand like what what the repercussions are if it is legalized. Like there are serious pros and cons to it. I'm all for it being legalized, but I can understand why. You know, some people don't want to legalize. Why? What would be a reason? I mean, just just basically the the capital the capitalization of of the big man, the big brother, so to speak. Well, they don't want they them have, to capitalize off of it. Well, the only okay, so they have like in Colorado and in Cali and you know Washington State, they have like mom and pop weed shops. Like they have the ones that are, you know. My, that are the big brother type it. things. I get but it. And I feel like if you legal, if you, if you get to a point where you feel like you need to legalize weed, then every motherfucker that you've locked up for selling marijuana oh, absolutely. And or for using it mm-hmm. needs to be um, released. And that's another thing. But that's what's going on in a lot of these states where they have legalized it. They also, at the same time, have changed up the law as it pertains to, like here in Atlanta, they decriminalized you know, you can have a certain amount of weed and just get a ticket. Right. You know what I mean? Like the progressive states are that goes hand in hand, right? The marijuana legalization and the way that the criminal justice system and the ju- judicial system handles it. Like that has to all go hand in hand. So those are some of the things that we need to look for in our next elected representative. True. 